Hello guys, welcome to Pink Irrigation. I'm Chalaka Prasad. I'm here to answer your doubts regarding irrigation. So please share this channel among your other friends who are interested to learn about irrigation. So let's get to answer the question which was asked by Jagdish. Here is a question asked by Jagdish. How the airport runways are named? Example, one nine right. If you see this particular diagram, the following runway has been numbered 22. How did we end up the, at this number 22 is what we're going to understand. One thing we know that aircrafts always take off into the wind and land into the wind. Runways are nothing but the magnetic orientation of that particular place. Runways are always numbered between 01 to 36 to avoid confusion with headings given to fly. Runways are always oriented with the average winds taken into consideration for that particular area. Now, for example, in this particular case, if I want to construct a runway of 09, the opposite end is going to be 27 in the west to east direction. For example, if I want to construct a runway heading of 089 and 269, they are rounded off to the closest tens, hence 09 and 27. For the same airport, if I want to construct a runway in this particular orientation, it is going to be 18 and 36. Moving on, what I want you two guys to do is to su superimpose the following three images. This is what I'm talking about. If you see exactly, this is my runway 09 pointing west, runway 27 pointing east, runway 18 pointing north, and runway 36 pointing south. At no given condition are we supposed to call them runway 27 or runway 18. They are always supposed to be addressed as runway 27 or runway 18. So now what happens if an airport has more than one runways? To avoid the confusion or to avoid the ambiguity of the situation, runways are given a special designation known as runway 28 left or runway 28 right. There are many parallel runways around the globe which operate. Here is a video which I want you guys to see and understand. In this particular scenario, you can see an Airbus 340 touching down on the parallel runway and at the same time an Airbus 320 rolling down for takeoff on the next parallel runway. There are certain regulatory authorities which monitor the requirement of two parallel runways to be operational. Can we have three parallel runways? Absolutely yes. Well, the nomenclature will change. That is, you will have 36 left, 36 center, 36 right. Can we have four parallel runways? Yes, of course. This is San Francisco airport. As you can see, our aircraft is landing on 06 right at the same time an aircraft is taking off from 07 left. At the same time you can see 07 right and 25 left and here 06 left and 24 right. So Jagdish, I think that answers your question on how runways are numbered. Here I have a question for you guys. So why do aircraft carriers like INS Vikramaditya or any other aircraft carrier do not have any runway numbers marked on them? Guys, aircraft carriers are a portable runways. They can be moved from place to place. The entire ship itself navigates on grid navigation using longitudes and latitudes. So when there's a wind change direction, the entire ship or the entire carrier itself turns into the wind so that the aircrafts can come in for landing or take off for landings. That is the prime reason why aircraft carriers do not have any runway numbers mentioned on them. This is an extra bit of information which I thought would really help you guys out there. So if you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe and do comment more questions so that I can make more videos for you. Thank you.